A top tip that I can do you to kind of preserve and, and save and help your mental health is to make sure that you check the accounts you follow. Now, I don't mean every day going on, checking all the accounts you follow. I mean, see who you actually follow. Look at your following to followers. For example, now my follower to follower ratio is very small. I think I have 600 followers and I'm following about 80 of that. And the reason is, is not because I don't want to follow these people. It's because you need to put people who do certain things in your life. I like to follow people who put positivity up. I've used to follow loads of different accounts. I used to follow whoever followed me. And then you'd view their profiles and you'd see maybe they were fat shaming people. There's a lot of people that you follow who have huge amounts of following and you realise that they're actually dicks like yeah they may be a, a really good footballer so you're following them for their football but then the comments they make in the meantime it's like hang on a minute and now obviously because of modern day there's a lot more like obviously to like lgbt community like there's so many different avenues and, and people now who kind of basically clock on to stuff that's going on there'll be like people being racist or people being homophobic and it wouldn't have been brought up in the past because people would have just kind of left it but all of these groups now just push it into the forefront so you can kind of see more who people are because things were like twitter comments or instagram comments or people that would have kind of stuff would have been let slide before it's not being let slide no more thank god so then people are being held accountable but those are the kind of people who fuck with your mental health because they they might be a bit misogynistic and have a real kind of male superiority complex. So they put negative stuff about women. And the thing is, from following loads of people, I've literally seen all different things. And there's certain people who I used to follow that I literally, I'd, I'd get annoyed when I'd see the stuff they post. Because I think, why do you need to be so rude about another person's colour, race, religion, whatever it is? And then I thought, I can't change them. Nothing I can do will change them. Yes, I can comment. Yes, I can say this. But at the end of the day, if they have a mega platform, me do it saying, you're the worst, it's not going to get heard. But do you know what does get heard? Unfollowing someone. If someone is racist, someone's fucking with your mental health, anyone's doing anything to you or anyone else and you unfollow them, if everyone unfollowed the person who was being bad, they'd have no followers. And if they have no followers, what? They have no voice. They have no output. The only reason that these people get so big is when they have the 250,000 followers, they can go, huh, I hate gay people because they think no one's going to say anything to them because they have such a big following base and they don't think that anyone would unfollow them. Maybe they say, oh, I hate gay people and they lose 5,000 followers. They don't care. They have 245,000 more followers. They don't care. But just imagine that person who was being horrible, everyone unfollowed them. They would then realise their actions and it's not one of the ones that they apologise and everyone goes follow them again. They would learn from it if people unfollowed them. So make sure the people that you follow you want to follow and you're not following because someone's told you to follow or you're not following them because they have 5,000 followers or you're not following them just because they're a footballer or just because they're a bot. You follow them because they do, like anyone I follow, they either post stuff that I think, do you know what, well done to you or they post real positive posts or we get along in general. There's certain people who you will be more inclined to get along with and through unfollowing all these people and following all these people, what you start to learn is that you can kind of have a support group or support bubble of people who are doing the same as you. So for example, me, I have all different problems, but one of my main ones is my anxiety. And one of the main things I focus on is my fitness. So for them two avenues, I follow a lot of people who do anxiety podcasts. I follow a lot of people who do fitness comments, but I follow people who I want to follow, not who people tell me to follow. I follow the people who, when I read through their comments on their posts, or I read through the comments they put on other people's posts, or I read through something they've uploaded or what they put on their story, it's always, like hyping people up, uplifting is always good positivity. And that's what I tried to do on my post. I tried to post stuff that is uplifting. I tried to hype people up. I tried to keep people up instead of pulling people down. So if you're following people who pull people down and you're thinking, oh, you know what? They've got, they've got this amazing body chisel six pack everything. And yeah, they may make a few kind of comments that, but you know, if there's something that's upset you, something, don't follow them people.